All right, everybody, you know what we got to do. We got to install a Linux operating system on the trash pick to Dell Optiplex 780 because the original product key, I cannot read it. So it's, you know, not describable, I guess you could say. We're going to put the latest version of Ubuntu on it and we're going to put an HDD on it. And then we're going to see how fast it is with an HDD. I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, an HDD. Why not put an SSD? Well, I, I don't have any right now. So we're, we have HDDs. So we're going to you know, spinning hard drive. So we're going to do that. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get this hard drive installed. Okay, got a Barracuda 7200.780 gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, it's small, but really all we need this thing to do is basically internet browse, right? We just need to get on the internet and I'm willing to give that a shot. I'm really curious to see if it'll work or not. So I got our SATA cable brand. It's not a it's not a SATA cable that's designed for this computer. It needs to be a flat style one. But when someone took the drives out of this, they took the SATA cables with it. I don't understand why, but I also understand why at the same point in time. So I can't put the side panel on, but that's that's okay. We're just doing this for testing. We just want to know how fast Ubuntu will run on a HDD on this old system. So we're just going to leave the side panel off. We're going to get the bootable installer ready. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, don't mind the door open. It's again, 90 degrees out here. All right, we're all set up. Got that drive in, got it hooked up. I've got our Ubuntu drive. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm not sure what key I'm gonna be pressing here. It's probably gonna be like, what, F10, F9, F12. if you helps if you plug the drive in yep there it goes all right maybe maybe it'll detect the drive i don't know okay time day we're all good there whoa why did it restart for it That was weird. Maybe it was just resetting itself up. Yep, there it goes. Okay, maybe it just had to do itself a re maybe it knew. Maybe it knew it had to do a reset. So I see welcome to Grub. I'm getting excited. And I see nothing else. Nothing else is happening. Oh no, caps, caps light is not, it froze, it froze. Let's try it again. Yeah, it looks like it's freezing on Welcome to Grub. I'm going to give it a couple moments. We'll see what it does. I it for like three minutes, and I heard it reset and beep, and now it's 
they did the alert system battery voltage low again and now it's just uh it's just got a blinking cursor but we do have oh no we don't have a working caps again <laughs> i don't know what it's doing i think it's like going through this reset process every time hey it got farther this time it got farther so let's see what it does again maybe if i just let it be for a little bit longer all right we're gonna try one other linux distro this is the latest version of linux mint And we're gonna see what it's gonna do. Maybe it'll fail trying to install or, you know, even load just like before. It could be because of that whole battery thing. Okay, so there's something wrong with my bootable drive. Maybe I have to do a complete factory reset on or something like that drive. Completely format and erase a factory reset. What am I saying? Well, it looks like we're doing Linux Mint. We're gonna boot. Uh, we're going to, we'll boot Linux live system. I think I can do that. I think I set this up to do that. It should be able to, should be able to do it. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Guys, nothing's working. Nothing is working. It's so hot. This is a good computer though. For some reason, it's just not responding to it's not responding to my thumb drives well everyone i do want to say thank you so much for watching i know we're ending i know there's going to be more about it i've got to dive down deeper and i don't want to take too much of your time so put down in the comments down below if you know what's going on with it and i'm going to dive down deeper and we'll make another video about it maybe we'll put windows 7 on it i don't know well everyone I want to say thanks for watching please like and subscribe the dell optiflex 780 y'all We'll see ya in the next one.